Hello and welcome to Keyboard Corner at Anderton's TV. My name's Jack and uh, we're here with the Teenage Engineering OP1. Now, Keyboard Corner, this, uh, I'm sure you really don't care, but <laughs> are you, I was going to say, you're all thinking out there, this isn't a keyboard. I'm like, well, all three of you who are unlucky to be see that, seeing this video. Um, it, but it does have a lot of keyboard stuff in there and we're going to get to that. And uh, very quickly, I just want to say that I'm going to try get across how incredible I think this product is. It's a rare opportunity I've had to have it with me for a few weeks and uh, really use it as I would in the real world. And I already I'm going to declare that I've already put an order in for one. They're, they're not in stock at the moment, but... Uh, I implore you, uh, and at the end we'll kind of sum it all up, but hopefully I can get across to you how amazing this bit of kit is. And that's my goal. I set it out, set it out there, and we're, we'll go on a path together. And uh, I'm just going to ramble on about it and see how I have seen this bit of kit. So for me, there are four parts to the OP1. And uh, so it's got a synthesizer section. Uh, and with sampler, uh, it's got a drum section again with an electronic drum generator and a sample generator, a uh, four track tape machine, and then a mixer section. And they're all over here on these cool little buttons. Uh, so I'm in the tape mode at the moment, but let's just go straight to get some sounds out of the thing because, uh, like. I said at the beginning, it's a bit, it's a lot more than a synthesizer, but even as a synthesizer, I think it's worth the price of admission alone. Uh, okay, so we've hit the synthesizer button, and then these eight buttons here will be eight different presets. And I'll explain how that works in a second. So let's just play the first one. So a mono sound. And as you can see, I'm playing it on this keyboard. You probably, at first glance, were like, oh, but it's genuinely playable. If I hit the second one, um, let's, let's find a pad. Yeah. music on it I've had it with me I'll talk a bit more about what I've been doing with it but I love that so let's flick through the first eight sounds that are on there so mono lead third one Fourth one. Um. Fifth one. We had a taste of that earlier. You feel the fatness? Pete's had to run off because it's so fat to check the meters. Peter, how are the meters? How's the meter, Peter? How's the meter, Peter? Uh, it's, fat. It's, it's just outrageously fat. Well, I'll dial that back. Obviously, it's loud and you'll be like, oh, it's fat because it's louder, but it's exciting. This is what we're getting at with this bit of kit. So, nice little lo-fi sound there. Eighth one. So if you turn it on, so the reason why I've done that, if you come in the store, that's a good way, place to start. You hit this squiggly line, that's the synthesizer section. 
synthesizer section. And then we've got eight, like I said, these eight buttons, we flick through it. Because I went into a store uh, and I've been into Anderton's, I seen this and I thought, what on earth is it? How, and, and when I had a fiddle, I couldn't get any sound out of it. So try that and cut, go have a play on one and get the grips to it. Now, the next way is that that's, they're more like eight favorites. And there's a huge amount of synthesis in here. So if I hold shift and um, then hit one, um, these four buttons here get into different editing modes. And this one allows me to change the engine. So we've got, it's a one, two, three, four, one. Over 10 different, completely different synthesis engines, samplers, FM synthesis, and this is the magic. So, so I, I, let's choose this first slot. Hold Shift One, and we'll go to Cluster. Back, hit One, and we're back to this. And I don't know if you can see it in the screen, but I mean, I'm, I'm looking at four dials: a blue, a green, a white one, and a red. And that, that's all I've got. It, and so, if I hit a note, it's graphically represented on the screen. We can see the blue things going crazy. So it's monophonic sound. And this is the bit that I want to get across. If you are a guy who is in a rut in your relationship, you're not getting it up. No, no, if you're, if you're in a rut, if you're in a rut with your synthesizer, you're in a rut with the way you record, you're a guitar player who is turned off by the traditional elements of synthesis, you're a artist, who's never played music. You've got someone, maybe who's a computer programmer at home and they always were into Faithless or something like and, and music seems a bit daunting, then musician is, no, okay. It's not, this is it, this is the product because you're thinking in colors and you're thinking with your ear. So if I play this, I have no idea what these, so this green one, Seems to be some form of fate. Okay, so there's some detuning coming in. Some oscillation. Mad crazy stuff, right? If I go shift um, and then in here to, and then shift, I can make that also a poly sound. So maybe we can hear how that's working out. So we're getting crazy stuff all visually represented on this incredible OLED screen that, again, there's, it's been out a while, the OP1. This is more like at Anderton's. We've got these in stock and almost anyone who's coming into the store or like for gifts, and stuff, this is the one, I'm telling you, and I'm going to try to get it across. So we've got this sound loaded in. Let's change the engine to the digital engine so we can keep that, so you can see this. <laughs> And when I move, hopefully you'll see how beautiful this is. So a completely different way of generating the sound. You can hear it, the, the timbre different, and how we control it's different too. So now we've got all these geometric shapes. And you're thinking, why on earth would I want to make that noise? I get it, but if you, if I'm a huge fan of Bon Iver, or as you'd say where I'm from in Dorset, Bon Iver, um, big fan of it. And the, the noise, those noises are all over that record. The, the record, this, he put a, an incredible piece of artistry, I think. Go check it out. If you want to hear how he's used every facet of this bit of kit, it's all over his new album anyway so we're making those weird sounds and you're thinking oh, oh i don't really want to get that crazy no worries we can again go back in and in digital there are presets so the first one's called auto repeater 
Okay, second one, called Boo. Third one, Daylight. And again, we've got octaves. Cool. And we can flick, so they're the presets in digital. We can change engines as well. They've got one called, um, I, I mean, the, and each one has a different graphical interface. So we saw that one. Let's go to Dr. Wave and see what that looks like. So this looks like a wave. I hope that's coming across on the screen. Okay, so we've got that dry sound. Found a preset we dig, no worries. And this third button, we can then put on effects. And this is the other crazy bit of this. Every sound you put in, the way that in the effects work and how they're integrated. So if I hit shift, hit three, uh, we can put on, let's start with like a reverb. Everyone wants to put reverb on. You hear that? On, off now. On, and instead of having loads of menus, you know, and getting all the reverb amount and all the decay and the pre-delay, that they, again, they've kept it, every aspect is a color and a, and a knob to turn. So we can assume, like on, if we turn the blue one, I think that's the tone of it. Again, uh, and then if we do this, you can see how many turns are in the spring itself. So you're getting all that metallic stuff. We can take out all the all the turns, so it turns out um, it turns out to be less of a spring. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> it turns out. Uh, to be more of a hall reverb. Again, you're using your ears. The amount is the orange knob. Put those turns back in. All visual, all visual, graphical. Okay, so there's, I won't go through every bit, but uh, let's do another one whilst we're here. So uh, even the, so it's got a great filter and it doesn't, it's not evident at first. You look at it and go, well, Nitro, what's that? And you put that on there and you look at it, and you've got to use your ears a bit. So if I hear, the, you know, there we go. Orange one is a low pass filter. Yeah, and look at it, it looks like, Pete, can you see this? Sorry, Pete, come come here. I want this is what I'm trying to get. The he's sorry, mate. I got your phone. Just, I mean, look at it, mate. How cool is that? Oh wow! So instead of it, it basically looks like Tron. And as soon as when like this Tron. starts kicking off, look. So that's that's the high pass, low pass. Oh, look, he's driving towards a city or something. Exactly, and then and then we crank the resonance, and then you have different filter patterns. Oh, it's like a road going along like that. Yeah. Looks like an old game, like an old computer game. Mad, isn't it? That's insane. So inst instead of looking at the traditional screen, everything, you know, if it's I want to... moving. Exactly. It's still moving. If I want to put a didn't... delay on, it's represented graphically. And you hit it. And everything, yeah. And when I go back to the synth sound, I have a fiddle with, look, It looks like the sound, doesn't it? Yeah. They must have spent lots of time oh doing that. The guy has literally thought, what does it look like? What does the sound look like? Sorry, mate. I've dragged him into a I synth thought... nightmare. Yeah, but I, that's kind of what I want you to do is drag him here. <laughs> as Pete faded away out of our synth nightmare, it's actually more of a synth dream because uh, that's what I want to get across to you. It's, it's really fun. There's no mistakes in this. There's no feeling like you're on a, a linear path to the sound. And so that, that next step, we've had a little fiddle there. Hopefully you've got that. Some great videos. A guy called Cuckoo. 
I mean, uh, I don't want to do him any disservice. To, it's been such a help watching his videos and how creative he was, is with it. If you want to look at how amazing things can come out of this bit of kit, it's incredible. And Red Means Recording, another chap. Shout out to you guys. Very helpful. Thank you so much. Right. So there's the synthesizer section. And then we've got a drum section. All right. So in here... Um, Cool, so we've got a drum section there. And just like with the synths, we've got eight different of our favorite kits. Cool, so eight different sounds, and uh, they were all sample based. And then as you see on the eighth one, we've got this thing called, I think it's called D-Drum. So that's a, a synthesizer that you can, so you've got infinite amounts of possibilities out of there. So we've got our eight favorite, no worries. Um, and the same applies there. If we go in, yeah, D-Box and Drum, and we've got all these presets of kits. So if you hit this green one to get in the drum mode, shift, and then hit the preset slot you want to change, you can flick through and find the type of kit you want. Super simple, super simple, great. Okay, so we've got synth, got some drums, and then this is the bit where I sold it to my dad. And my dad is disinterested in everything. And I've been so excited about this. I took it home to my dad, and then I show him that we've got a four track tape machine. And even I was recently, I got well into Bruce Springsteen and that Nebraska album, heard it was all on a four track. I wanted to buy one. If you're looking at getting a four track, it's in here and it's implemented in, in that way as well. The limitations of tape are all in here. So what am I talking about? Let's see if I can get it across to you. This, by the way, is in, I put it in factory reset. So this is exactly how it will come. They're, they're all the presets that will be out the box or in the store if you want to come play it. So hopefully this is priming you to come in and find out some bits for yourself. Right, so we're in um, tape machine here. And uh, say you make pattern-based music, no worries. We can set up a loop. So it's got an in point, shift across. So we go one, two, three, four, four bars out. We've got a loop. And um, let's find a synth sound we dig. Let's just go for that. In there, no worries, got a four bar loop. Metronome button, whack it on. Let's pick a tempo, or we can tap the tempo. We'll just go with that 89.9 and then what's great it's not even an on off you just you get that going go back to the tape machine just a little thing you've got to just like with tape I changed the tempo of the metronome but I didn't change the length of the tape loop so little things like that it, I'm really starting to enjoy at first I was like oh that's a bit old school and lo-fi but We'll get to that into the conclusion why it's so good to work like this, I think, and why so many people are getting into it. Cool, cool. So we've got that loop going round. No worries. So we've got a synth sound. Um, I'm just going to choose a key. We'll go for C. Cool. So hold arm, record, and then when I hit it, it'll start recording. Cool, if I want the metronome off, turn that down, We're back to the beginning. Cool. Well, it goes. Exactly, yeah, yeah, and we can scrub through. Just like a tape. And you can even set, it's got an accelerometer in it, a bit like an iPhone, so you can shake it and screw up the tape and it's like so tactile man so many crazy things in here um and i just realized i've been horrendously unmusical and done a three bar loop there we go so <laughs> there we go we'll make it a two bar loop that's my fresh sound man bringing a three bar loop <laughs> everyone's like oh okay we got that 
and we wanted to say put some drums on. Cool. Track one, remember, on a four track tape machine, you'd have to go, I want to record track two. So that's track two. Now I'm on track two. And I want to put some drums. Let's go with the first drum kit we got. Uh, now we could play over it. We could play over it and it could be loose, just a bit like my playing on that. And then that's where you, again, if you're regularly working on the computer and everything's on the beat, everything's grinding, you're trying to find a way to get it grooving, this is the way to do it very quickly. Okay, but say we do want it to be on the beat. Little button over here looks like a braille sign. Uh, this is the sequencer section. And there's not only, this is a massive part of this product. How many sequences are in here? So if I hold shift in that, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six different types of sequencer. Um, and I, I'll show you why that's important. So we, the one that it initially is set to is called finger, okay? And this is great. If I'm in drum mode with the sequencer on, any one of these white notes, if I hold it down, it'll play a sequence in the tempo we've chose. That's right, that's not Pete uh, breaking wind. That was him sitting on a boss product. <laughs> Sorry, boss. <laughs> Cool, so we've got a sequence, and you can see we've got a little monkey playing a drum kit. And each white note will play a different sequencer. Different sequence, sorry. And what's amazing is you can just put any two together so you get random shit. Hey! So you just, we can play that tape that we had see what works. And we put two together. I mean, crazy. And if we wanted to record it, it's all right, we go back in there. Hold it down and hit, I'll just hit any two random ones. Cool. Yes. We could go find a different synth down. might as well do it. This is the thing with the OP1, you're always making music even when you're being silly. All right, so we'll go to track three, we've got this wob wob sound, and um, we'll go in the fourth section, which is the mixer, here. So we've got this nice little line. We can see that's pretty hot. So um, there's two ways we can do it. We can go into the synth. Let's go into here. So we're in there, sorry to get a bit lost there. Ah, oh, that's what we want. When we're in the tape mode here, some, I'm still learning about it, cause it's great. If I go back to the mixer, put that back up to nan and nan, and then we go back to the tape. We've got a, like a record volume, um, and that's on the orange knob. So, so I can look at the mixer, that's coming in how I want. Cool, let's do that. So we'll record that. Um... Hey, and then what's cool is, instead of edit undo, you've got a lift button, like you'd lift it off the tape. So you either cut the tape, lift it, copy it, paste it. So cool, so easy. Um, if you wanted to do a counting, you wanted to, you've got to put that in on the tape. I know it sounds like old school, it, uh, but so if I wanted to do that, it's actually not too bad. I'd go to track one, and then what I'd do, I'd lift that up, put it down, and then tab across, and you build up your track like that. Anyway, I'll, there's so many great track making videos on there, but 
we're already cooking on the ideas. Um, if I go back to the beginning, see what we got. So we've got this little groove going. We've also got uh, a global effect here. So if I go to the mixer, we can turn, I'll show you some of the more extreme effects and that's all over the Bonavere record again. So we've got a great one called CWO, basically cow, and you're putting your audio through a cow. I don't know what it is. Well, we can, we, we'll guess together. So if we have a little listen, uh, we'll turn it off. So we've got a groove. I'll put the cow on. Slap the cow on, will you? Yeah, okay. Let's start man handling the cow. You could resample that, you know, if you, or if let's do the classic, you're into the modern kind of underwater sound. We slap the nitro that Pete came and had a che check out of. Such a good sounding filter. Bring in some resonance. Well, here's a cool thing. On the tape, you've got six minutes worth of tape. Now we've made up a little loop there that's a few, you know, only a few seconds long. And this is the other great thing mentally that it's done for me the last few weeks. When, I, when I'm working on the computer with Logic or Pro Tools, whatever you've got, and I'm building a track, I feel that I have to kind of see it through. And if I don't see it through, I feel really bad about it. Like, oh, I'm a failure, oh, I didn't finish it. And the OP1, the last few weeks, has let me... So the way the tape works is just like having an old bit of tape. You'd put a bit at the beginning, and they wouldn't bother changing the tape or changing the project setting to start a new song. You just move along the tape. And what, what you do is, I've got a little groove there, no worries. I can flick along the tape and start a new loop here. Um, let's do one. Yeah, so I've started a new loop and I can put another idea in there. We can find another synth sound, go find one that inspires us, you know. Anything but that. <laughs> we'll find the least inspiring one. Uh, so we've got a string synth, which actually is a model of a, of a string, like a physical model. So that's the pickup width. It's got dynamic. That's, uh, you can bow the string. So good for ambient stuff. We could go to that little tape loop we've made, and then uh, let's find a. We'll do it. We can change tempo again. Let's go. We'll go for that tempo. We're in. Make sure we got a little markers in the right place. In one, two, three, four. Out, oh, nice. Go in, track one. You can hear what we've got there. We want to get rid of that. We've lifted it off the track. We're good to go, I think. So if we arm it to record and I just play something. So we've got that weird eerie loop going in there. Uh, let's find a drum kit that we want to kind of rage over it. We can put a click back in. Okay, I'll show you another aspect so we could play it in. Or we can go to the sequencer when we we had old monkey mate helping us out. Let's look at a different sequencer. So uh, they've also got a pattern sequencer. 
So it's like a more tr traditional, you can see it on a grid and you could program it in like the piano roll editor. So let's have a listen to what that's got. There we go. So it's already got a sequencer in there. Let's see how that goes over the top of it. Um. So cool, we could go in there I can change where the sequence starts. I can swing it. Loads of stuff like an old MPC. Very cool, very cool. So just showing, we're not going to follow that through, but it's so easy to, there you could just do enough, but look, even maybe that first noise. Maybe that's enough and I just skip across the tape and go, oh, I'll leave that, there's an idea, gone, uh, done. And at the end of the day, you pop it into your computer, USB cable, and it bounce, It literally gives you all the files, there, um, all the four track files, and um, all in a line, and you've got all your ideas laid out. I've been using, um, just drag and dropping them into Logic, and just calling it the date, you know, like Tuesday the 17th of whatever. And there are all my ideas that I, I uh, that day that I came up with, or with my friends, because I've, I've been out, out traveling, and uh, I've had this for a few weeks. We've been making beats on trains, on planes, uh, all over the place. Uh, and even just to get to the point as well, how it's brought other people in, how you can get other people to come and make music with you, instead of a computer where you'll sit there going, and there's one guy with the mouse. Like everyone's hands on on this, and they do these incredible little add ons. So let, let's find a synth sound um, that's kind of a bit plinky, so we, or, or whatever. Let's, so we've got an FM synth here. Um, we'll go to the FM, yeah. FM. All right. And we'll find a preset. Okay, nice little light preset there called Neutrinos. This is a cool thing. So uh, we'll go to the sequencer, turn it on. And uh, we've used it on the drums, but here's one that we can use the sequence on, on any content that's in here. They've got one called Tombola. Now it looks like a, you know, got a geometric shape. And then what happens is when you play notes, you drop them into the Tombola. Okay, we're gonna get a bit weird. Come with me. Okay, now. The blue knob will change how fast the tombola spins. So say you're making a track and you just want some random shit. It's actually quite hard, I find, to make random shit on a computer because it's always locking you in to time and to a grid and th this, you just drop in notes into a tombola that you're spinning and you could, the green can adjust the gravity. So you can make less gravity so the notes are floatier. You can change how metallic the notes are. You can change the shape of the tombola itself. So maybe some notes escape. And they're gone. I mean, how cool is that? And they even sell a little add-on with a, with a crank. They call it a crank and you can put them onto this note and then, you, so you can be playing in the notes and your mate can be like turning the tombola and getting different speeds. I mean, what a cool, creative way to make music. So we've got those four sections. I've t I kind of told you a little bit about this kind of ethos that it's brought out of me. It's got a built-in speaker here as well. That's great. I've been going around with a Bose Soundlink Mini, just plugging it in and that's been my studio, wherever I've been. Bose Soundlink mini, it's got a microphone built in, we'll touch on that, so say we're in, uh, let's go into keyboard mode and we will on the, do something pretty cool, this is another mad crazy cool thing, do you think it's cool? I hope so. So we've got um, a sampled sound there, no worries, I'm just thinking will this destroy um, your ears, let me see, so if I go here to sample this which is the microphone button uh, it says to sample so it's got the microphone there now you can you see there's a 
a level going in, whoa, and basically I adjust with the white the trigger point. So you need to make sure the volume's above that, whatever you're sampling. So it could be guitar, you know, it could be guitar. But I'm just going to sing into it. Hopefully this won't feedback, we'll see. So I'll just go, um, hold a key that I'm going to sample it to and sing something. Ooh. Cool, we've done it. And we'll go back in. And that's in there. Simple as that. All pitch mapped done. I mean, so quick. It's a bit low, the level, because I, I tracked it low just in case. But we can boost that. Boost that up. Do you know what I mean? I'm sorry, and so all the time I've been with my friends or singers and go, oh, singing it to man, everyone's voice has got a different quality or the room you're in. So if you're into pads, ambient music, a bit like I am, you know. So how, and then we go, okay, what's the next thing we can do to it? Like we, we touch on the effects. We've got all those effects there. So again, we, we've got that filter. Or we could put a reverb on it. crazy creative bit of kit hey we might as well whilst we're there um i'll show you another cool thing so that's just sampling into the keyboard but you can sample into the drum section as well and in the drums uh it treats some get i won't get dorky but it gets into i had a little read up of how it treats samples and uh, basically you've got more sample memory in the drum mode so i'm just looking for a cable Found my cable, I have a common all garden uh, iPhone, and I'm gonna plug in here. So again, I've had like a Bose Soundlink Mini and my iPhone, so I can sing into it, I've played guitar into it, because on that four track tape machine, you can just hold down the mic and use it to play into. So if you, as a four track like looper for guitarists or acoustic players, amazing. Right, okay, uh, so let's see if I can get this going. In drum mode, sample, and it's changed from the mic to the stereo jack input. Um, let's see what happens. Um, if I'm back in this mode. Okay, let's see. Let's check we've got a good level. I'm Rick James. I'm Robert Fripp, and this is Frippatronics. I think. One of my favorite videos. Greatest guitar player of all time up there <laughs> I love I love a bit of Robert Fripp right and so there's this um I was watching this with my dad the other day and he was like this is the coolest thing ever Robert Fripp saying hello I'm Robert Fripp and this is Frippatronics so let's see if we can sample that in we're in drum mode I've whacked it there let's see what the level is Robert Fripp, um... so it's coming in nice and I think if I if I go here yeah we're in drum mode sample and um, is it shift? Sorry, I'm trying to remember these things. So we're in sample. Right, yeah, I'll just go for it. Um. That's Rick James. I'm Robert Fripp, and this is Frippatronics. Cool, so we've just sampled Robert Fripp introducing himself. It's in here now into the drum machine, and uh, uh, so the the knobs then correspond to how you manipulate manipulate the sample. So we've just I just made it so I'm that on this James. one, I'm Robert Fripp, and this is Frippatronics. So that's the whole sample there in there. Um, maybe you want a bit more level, I think. So we can hold Shift and do this. That's Rick James. I'm Robert Fripp, and this. Cool. And uh, I want to catch that first bit. I'm. I'm. 
I'm Robert Fripp. Okay. I'm Robert Fripp. And then maybe on this second key, we'll see what's playing here. Jane. Again, boost the level. Jane. Jane. And then we'll change. Jane. 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 I'm. Let's have a little search for something. Patronics. Patronics. Cool. So we got that in there. Maybe on the third key, we'll find another word. Um, let's have a listen. James. That's I want to find like Robert Fripp, don't we? Here really. Crank the level a bit. I'm Robert Fripp. Robert Fripp. Robert Fripp. I'm Rob. I'm 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 Robert. I'm Rob. I'm 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 Robert. I'm Robert. I'm 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 Robert. I'm Robert. Tripatronics. Tripat. I'm Robert. I'm 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 Tripat. I'm Robert. I'm Tripatronics. So you can grab anything. Break. I could put the sequencer on there. Get my little monkey man playing it. My little monkey man. I'm I'm. So you're generating fresh sounds all the time. If it's from the synth, from you singing, from sampling, uh, even you can sample. This has been really cool. I've just in some other countries, it, uh, it, it works well with a little aerial that they they sell as well. So I'd recommend getting that if you get get this. But you can sample from the radio. It's got a built-in FM radio. So if you really want to grab like the moment and you're in uh, Froome in uh, Somerset and it's kicking off down there, like they've got a big market down there, loads of fresh produce, it's great. And you just want to listen to Radio Froome, you can sample Radio Froome, chop, chop up the guy talking about the best in breed and that's probably in relation to his wife and not the cows. Um, I'm, 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 I'm. You can sample that up and make a beat out of it. How, fr you know, if you want to be fresh, that's where it's at. Um, hopefully it's come across how much I love it. I'll kind of leave it there and leave you to explore. Also, come back at me if you want to see anything more about this. Maybe when they come back in stock, we can do a video. But I want to say a big thanks um, to, to the guys at Teenage Engineering and here in the UK that have lent me it um, to, to get the grips with. And hopefully I've broken down a, a bit of the barrier of like what on earth is this because it's, it's quite pricey it, if, if you look if you looked at it at first glance you'd go who on earth is buying that and my thing is I, I almost don't see why everyone doesn't have one like genuinely if you play guitar if you're a producer even looking forward maybe to Christmas or some like a special birthday um, I'm really not this is this is not if you've seen any of my other videos it's not a concerted sales pitch that's how I feel like I'm thinking how can I get this in the hands of people I care about who care about music because I think that they're gonna love it and the final point what we've all come to the conclusion conclusion is that when we're making music on the computer we um, it's always changing it's always a new update a new software a new way to tune the vocal a new way to compress a new interface and what's beautiful is that over the last few weeks i started off not knowing anything about this thinking oh god this is so complicated so weird like why is there a button with a weird squiggly line on it oh it should just say synthesizer and you forget that if it this is not changing i mean they're, they're, they're adding other instruments and some effects but the me mechanics of recording stay the same so you master it to get to the point if this doesn't change, a bit like guitar, guitar doesn't change. So that's why you can master it. Six strings, standard tuning, eventually you'll get good at it. And I think you'll get good at this. Whereas I think a lot of people with computers and recording are giving up or like they're just, it's more daunting than we're saying. And actually it'd be good to get off the computer and get into one of these. So I get a little bit deep there, but I really care about how fabulous this is. So when this comes into Anderton's, um, get online, there's a bit you can put your email in and they'll email you when it comes into stock and come have a go or, or take a punt and like I said with the returns policy, grab hold of it and just uh, thanks to ev who, the genius that made this thing.
because it's so much fun and uh, I'm definitely going to have a lot of fun with mine. Uh, let's see if we can get something, you know, we'll just leave you with a bit of ambiance. Let's find a sound. Let's do that and we'll put it in the tombola. Oh, it's still spinning. Teenage Engineering, OP1. More like OG Gangster One, my Opie, Opie, Wonka, Opie. Opie, Wonka, Opie. Lovely.